Hello friends, it's another super exciting Sunday today. Can you guess why? It's the last Sunday of the month of August and I'm so grateful to God for the gift of life and all the numerous things he has done for me. What about you? Has God been so good to you? I'm sure he has. Let's close our eyes as we pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for your loving kindness, protection, and wisdom in our lives. We thank you for giving us a wise and understanding heart and listen ears to your word today. In Jesus' name we have prayed. together. My steps are ordered by God. I live by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew 4 verse 4. All things work together for my good because I love God. Romans 8 verse 28. The theme of the month is as far as your eyes can see. And we have learned a lot about vision and direction that we can't be lost again because we have God directing us as the good shepherd. We learned that vision is the picture of the future. Why direction is the description to a place or thing. Having God direct you is one of the best things you can ever desire from God. Because God will always ensure you are on the right path and not get lost. I pray that God will continue to guide and direct you. We started the month with our topic as far as your eyes can see with the story of Abraham and Lot for the first Sunday of the month. The second and the third Sunday of the month, we had the topic, God, the master planner, with the story of the crossing of the Red Sea. Last Sunday, we learned that the Lord is our shepherd to lead and guide us in the story of the good shepherd. Today, is the last Sunday of the month and we will be taking the topic God leads you to become a pace setter and our story today is about Isaac and the wells 
And our text is from Genesis chapter 26, from verse 1 to 6, verse 12 to 28. Who is a paysetter? A paysetter is someone who is always ahead of others. A paysetter is a leader by example. A paysetter is someone who shows others the way. Would you like to be a paysetter? I'm sure your answer is yes. Because I also desire to be a paysetter all times. There was a farming in the land which was greater than the farming in the time of Abraham. Everywhere was dry and there was no food. So Isaac went to King Abimelech in Gera. The Lord told him not to go down to Egypt, that he should dwell in the land and he will sell him and he will multiply him as the stars of heaven and bless his generations to come because his father Abraham obeyed his voice and commandment. So Isaac dwelt in Gerar and sowed in that land and received the same year a hundredfold and the Lord blessed him. God blessed him so much that the Philistines began to envy him. All the wells his father's servants dug in his time were filled with King Abimelech told Isaac to leave them. So Isaac left and went to live in the valley of Gerar. Isaac's servants dug another well with water and the headsmen of Gerar came to fight him again and took over the well. He dug another one and they came to fight over it again. So he left the well and went to dig another and no one came to fight with him over the well. So he named the well Rehoboth. God blessed Isaac in everything he laid his hands to do that he became the envy of everyone when King Abimelech saw that God was with Isaac and he was blessed in all things he went to Isaac to apologize to him and they became friends again when God is with you he makes even your enemies to be at peace with you. Even as a child of God, you can be a paysetter just like Isaac and be a good example for others to follow. Let's take our lessons for today. One, God has a plan and purpose for you. As a child of God, you will fulfill that purpose. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. 2. God has worked out a path for you in life, which you must follow to be a pace center. 3. You have to take bold steps and act on God's word just like Isaac did. Four, always depend on God's word and 
not your ability. Five, do not give up on following God's plan for you to become a prayer setter. Let's take our memory verse for today. Our memory verse for today is taken from Isaiah 30 verse 21. And it says, And that ear shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left. Let's say it together. And that ear shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left. Again, and that ear shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left. For the last time, and that ear shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left. Great! You can only become a pace setter if you are a child of God. If you want to be a child of God, please say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me to be free. Come into my heart today and make me your child. Be my guide from this day forward. In Jesus' name I pray. Hope you enjoyed this service. Have a blessed week. See you next Sunday. Bye.